Have you ever wondered why a European truck like the Scania V8 hits 770 horsepower, while most American rigs tap out around 600? That's not just a number. It's a fundamental difference in philosophy, regulation, and purpose. And today, we're breaking it all down. But here's the kicker. This isn't about who builds the better truck. It's about why the same job is approached in two completely different ways. Stay with me because by the end of this video, you'll look at horsepower numbers in a whole new light. Pattern interrupt. Seriously though, if you've ever asked, why don't we just slap a jet engine on a Peterbilt? You're not alone, but the truth is way more interesting. Act two, core information, why the difference exists. Let's start with purpose. In the US, Long-haul trucking often means cruising across thousands of miles of relatively flat interstate. Think. Consistency, distance, fuel economy. American trucks are optimized for pulling heavy loads at lower RPMs, and they're built to run forever, sometimes a million miles or more. With engines in the 400 to 600 horsepower range, like the Cummins X-15 or Detroit DD-15. But across the ocean? It's a different game. European trucks are built for high-density logistics, steeper inclines, tighter turns, frequent stops, and more aggressive terrain. That means they need high torque, and sometimes even excess horsepower, to get the job done quickly and safely. And those 770 horsepower numbers? They're real! Scania's 16.4-liter V8 puts down that power for heavy-duty applications like hauling double trailer loads through the Alps. Overkill? Maybe? Necessary? In their context, absolutely. Now let's talk about legislation. Europe has stricter engine displacement and emission regulations. So to achieve the same pulling power, they sometimes up the horsepower to compensate for smaller engines and more advanced emission systems. Meanwhile, U.S. emissions laws are tough too but we rely more on after-treatment tech like DEF and DPF, and we stretch engines for longevity instead of raw output. Pattern interrupt. Okay, quick question. If American rigs are marathon runners, are European trucks the CrossFit champions of the highway? ACT3, transition to consequences and cliffhanger. Let's also not forget design. European trucks use cab over layouts. These are lighter, more compact, and allow higher payload flexibility. That reduced chassis weight? It means more room for heavier engines without breaking regulations. Contrast that with the U.S. preference for long-nose, conventional trucks, designed for comfort over extreme compactness. The engine bay is larger, but ironically, it's not used for more horsepower. It's used for cooling, maintenance access, and long-term durability. And here's the final twist. Horsepower isn't the whole story. American trucks often have more torque down low, where it counts. That's why a 600 horsepower Kenworth can pull just as confidently as a 770 horsepower Scania. It's built for endurance, not short bursts. Cliffhanger close? So here's the question. With electric and hydrogen powertrains entering the scene, will this gap between Europe and the U.S. close or explode into a new kind of horsepower war? That's what we're exploring in the next video. Because trust me, what's coming could make both sides rethink everything they've built.